Welcome back everyone. This was without doubt the most disingenuous intro I've ever done on this channel. And sadly I can't say it's uphill from here. So last week I told you all about my adventure in the Amazon River. And now it's time for adventure number two. Quick recap. I'm traveling with my mum, my dad and my big brother. Half the people I come across tell me I look more like my mum and the other half swears I look more like my dad. So let me know in the comments which parent you think I look more alike. Now in case you haven't heard of it, Machu Picchu is one of the great and most famous ancient Incan ruins. And there are two ways of getting there. Relentless hours of train rides in a bus or the Inca Trail. A perilous hand-built ancient path through the Andes Mountains. So here's my expectation of Peru. Me riding my Lamborghini through the ancient Incan ruins. And here is my reality. Hiking on foot and camping through the wilderness for four grueling and physically challenging days of walking. Walking, oh, walking. She had legs. However, this also meant four days of not tending to my personal hygiene. Which isn't really anything out of the ordinary for me. It just meant that this time everyone else was doing it too. So we flew in from the Amazon to Cusco where we had to climatize for a few days. In case you didn't know, Cusco is 3,400 meters above sea level. So the air is thin up there and it's it's pretty hard to breathe. If you're like me and get out of breath doing yoga, which is literally just breathing, Cusco will literally take your breath away. Hmm. Mm. If only there was a way to climatize to other sexy breathtaking sights, like this bag of popcorn. <sighs> so we arrived at the hotel. My mum and dad were staying in one room and my brother and I were staying in the other. Each hotel room had its own phone. And somehow, and somehow throughout the three days that we were staying there, my mum managed to phone our room every day asking for room <laughs> service. Hello? Hi, can I have two bottles of water, please? Uh, mum, you've, you've done it again. Two bottles mom. of water. No, mum, just two, thank you. Yep, I'll bring those straight to your room, ma'am. Also, when we're in the Amazon, it's common etiquette that you don't flush your toilet paper. You have to put it in this little bin right beside the toilet so that you don't block the toilet. This, however, is not the case in Cusco. But unfortunately, my brother didn't realize that until <laughs> the end of the three days of staying in this nice, clean hotel. I feel sorry for the for whoever had to clean that room after us and find the nice tweed linen basket beside the toilet. I'm sorry. One thing you do have to do in Cusco though is you have to drink bottled water. Cause tap water, let's just say, goes right through you. And for some reason, bottled water seems to cost the same whether it's carbonated or flat. And my mum likes carbonated bottled water so she always gets carbonated bottled water. By the way, I'm saying carbonated water because sparkling water just sounds far too fancy. I guess Gassy water is definitely more on brand. Anyway, I'm just gonna flat out recommend you never try brushing your teeth with carbonated water. It's an invasively frothy experience, but it still beats getting the squirts for the second time. Speaking of which, if you watched last week's video, you'll know that I had explosive diarrhea for a considerable portion of my time in the Amazon. And during the hike, I was absolutely ravenously hungry for three reasons. One, it was my time of the month. Two, we were doing a lot of exercise, which is dangerously uncharacteristic for someone like me. And Three. I had a lot of catch up to do, considering I'd literally shat out an entire fully intact three course meal every day for the past week. But before we started the hike, we visited this animal rescue center. This is a manatee. It's in this little bar so that it doesn't swim around and exert too much energy because it's trying to put on weight. People are literally putting manatees in baths to put on weight, and yet they turn around and give me crap if I sit in a bath all day getting fat. Double standards are a disease. Oh, and if anyone's wondering what a manatee is, it basically looks exactly like every one of my passport photos ever. And my dad wanted me to include this footage he took of tortoises in slow motion. So there you go. Riveting. Anyway, the hike was in all senses of the word breathtaking. But if I'm being honest with you guys, nothing was quite as breathtaking as what the hike had in store for me on the final day. <laughs> It turns out my love for llamas is unrequited and llamas don't swallow. The llama spat on me. A few other notables throughout the holiday. I discovered salida means exit as opposed to salad. These are salt flats where salt is harvested. Unofficially the saltiest place in Peru, second only to me. Also, when you walk through airports in South America, they scan you for forbidden elements. Unsurprisingly, the machine beeped wildly when I walked through. Who would have known that I too were a forbidden element. I guess my personality is magnetic. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I just realized this might green screen out. If you're not already subscribed, you know what to do. If you're planning on unsubscribing, make sure it's only to have the satisfaction of subscribing again. I'll see you all next week. Goodbye!